Hello, <laughs> my name is Vladimir. I am a team member of Vtest and I am a team member of Vit. Today, in this talk, I wanted to talk about the state of Vtest and bring you all up to speed to the latest Vtest 2.1. Let's dive in. First of all, let's look at the weekly downloads graph. One year ago, Vtest had a little bit more than 2 million downloads a week. In the last year, we managed to almost triple this amount. Of course, downloads are not the most important thing, but we managed to also increase the amount of cool new features we have. <laughs> and uh, I will give you a brief overview of them uh, here, but, and my colleagues will explain them in details in their own talks here on VidConf. So don't miss them out. Just watch every uh, testing uh, every testing talk here, and you will be up to speed with what's going on with Vtest. First of all, it's browser mode. It was introduced quite a while ago as an experimental feature, just to run a code in the browser. Uh, it stayed like uh, that for quite a while until we decided to move forward to, to give more attention to the browser to running test, tests in the browser because we believe GSDOM is not as good and is, is not as good for everything. And there are very certain um, certain scenarios where you want to when you want to run your tests in the browser. So in Vtest 2.0, we rewrote everything <laughs> and we introduced the new UI. So it uses our old uh, just preview UI, but here we are also showing you the uh, the iframe where the test runs and how it runs throughout the throughout the whole test. You can change the viewport, you can resize it. In Vtest 2.1, we also changed how the preview works. It is now showing you the, uh, the full uh, viewport. Previously, it would only show you the visible viewport, so it was one-to-one -one in your browser. Uh, right now, it's more focused and, you know, more usable, to be honest. Another thing we did with the browser UI, we added new new buttons, uh, like like running the test from the UI itself. So it's not shown here, but if you um, if you click on uh, SRC components, for example, on demand on any file there, you will see a button there uh, to run the test. Very convenient, very similar to how it works in VS Code. Foreshadowing. Next one is coverage. So we changed uh, many change we changed a lot with coverage api uh, most changes are related to the new defaults like covering all files instead of files that we're running so by default now in vitas 2.0 you will see every file as covered or uncovered previously by default you will only see files that were ran by the test runner itself not every file uh, we feel like it's more uh, it's, it makes more sense to see all your files if you're working with coverage because you want to know if your test is covered and if you don't see the file that you didn't even import, doesn't make really, uh, that doesn't really make a lot of sense. Uh, one of the most impactful changes though is with browser mode integration uh, and the coverage. So in browser mode, in Vtest 2.1, you can now run V8 coverage instead of Istanbul right in your browser. To know more about the coverage in Vtest, uh, check out Ari's talk. It will also be one of the next talks, I think. <laughs> uh, okay, don't forget, don't forget, don't forget. I, I'll look at you. So uh, next thing is type testing. It is still an experimental feature. Unfortunately, we're uh, working more with browser mode at the moment, but there are new features there. Uh, the most impactful feature was Finally, it's here in Vtest 2.1. You can run your regular tests and your type tests in the same file. They are now reported as two different entries, so you will see like a T TypeScript icon. The next version of expect type of, as you can, you, you'll see, you see in the uh, example uh, in the, on the slides, also updates its API. And Misha, the author of the library, will talk more about uh, about it and how it works and how you can use it in your projects also in one of the next talks. One of the coolest features, uh, new features or new updates we have is VS Code ex extension. So it was rewritten from the ground up to be a more responsive. Uh, and I will show you demo time. 
to show you more about it. Okay, uh, let me just do this. So we are in VS Code. Uh, we are in Test Explorer uh, section. You can see here it's called Test Explorer. So we can run tests uh, on a concept. You can run, boom, it's very fast. You can run here, it's even faster. You can run here, you can run here, you can run here, you can run here. We can run every test. I mean, this, this basically the, the sample is a bit too small, so it's every, it does everything the same, but it actually is very different. <laughs> uh, so if you notice, it's very fast, as you, as you can see here, uh, some, it was 400, but I don't know why, uh, like uh, 100 milliseconds. So it's as fast as if, is if you are running Vita CLI in Voge mode. And the reason why it's that is because internally it uses the same mechanism. Uh, basically, we keep Vtest running in the background. It's not uh, it's not a very expensive process. So we we can allow allow that. It, it's just it's, it's just it's just code that waits some input, right? So when we click here, uh, when we click here, we can just run the test again. We don't need to process the file again. Everything is cached. Everything is nice and ready to run. So it's very fast. Um, we can debug a test. So I, I did the debug. So it, it took much longer because it needs to start, needs to spawn the process, needs to start with this, needs to import with this, and needs to process every file. Uh, so it will be slower, but it is better experience-wise because Otherwise, we tried another approach to, to do the same, but uh, just use coverage instead, but use coverage, sorry, use debugging um, API instead. Didn't work out very well. So the, if you were using this code extension in, in its initial ver version, you might have seen that de debugging works quite badly, to be honest, with you in most situations. Uh, but now it, what it does is it spawns a new, a new process, which is, my, which is cl clean. It takes a bit longer, but it's a, it's a better overall experience. So a, you, breakpoints work as well. So we take a breakpoint here. We can see so there are local variables. There is no local variable. There's local variables here in the um, uh, in the file itself. Global variables and so on. We can go forward, go backwards. We can end here, and it works great. Another thing that's supported by the VS Code extension is, the co is coverage. So let me show you, I'm pressing this button. I, I see a test failing, but I also see a coverage of this file, this source code file. I'm, I'm hovering here and I can see how many times it was called. Very cool, very very nice. Uh, works out of the box. You, you will need to have the package installed. So Vitas coverage V8 or Vitas coverage Istanbul, you'll need to have it installed manually. But after you've installed it, just press a button. We can run every file. You can run only, only a single file with coverage. So if you have, so if you run a single file with coverage, it will not try to uh, fetch every file in the project to see if 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 uh, if they're covered. It will only run this this test uh, specifically, and uh, which will be much faster. And it it's very nice to see if you are developing like a like a component to see if all all, all of the files of that component partic in particular are covered. Yeah, so the, the next thing that I wanted to show you was also the browser mode is also supported here. Let me give you a small example here. Uh, we can go here, we see resolving vtest, takes some time because we need to start the vtest. And you can see here, every file, uh, every, every test was found already. Uh, and we can run it, right? So we want to run on the addition. Takes some time because we, as you can see here, we are starting the vtest, uh, the browser. Browser has started. We go back and tests have run. So it took us seven seconds just to run this test. But you only need to do this once. Because next time you need to run a test, what you do is you press this button and it takes the same time as it as it takes uh, by node. So it's even even less, actually less than 100 milliseconds. Because we keep the browser open as, as long as you keep the browser open or as long as you have a headless enabled manually. As you can see, it's immediate. What you can also see is that I didn't show you last time is the continuous run also works here. So continuous run is basically a feature that allows you to run every test or any specific text. Like in this example, we only want to rerun the test two when the file changes. So I'm changing here to three. All I see here, the error. I see here the error and I can reflect on that. I can see the, 
the, the changes here. I can change it back to two, so uh, so it's fixed now. Uh, I can also watch a, a specific suite. So every test in this suite will re, uh, will rerun when I change the test, when I change the, the code. So it takes some time because we have hard coded um, 10 times here. Uh, go back, we run again. We can we can watch the file, we can watch the, uh, the folder. Um, and so on and so forth. We can watch every file here, so, which is also very nice. Um, this is uh, this is it. That I wanted to talk, wanted to show you with the browser mode. Now I want to say thank you for listening to this. Thank you for supporting Vtest, and I will see you in Discord chat. <laughs>